Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adams Eats Kitchen. How are we doing? Hope you're well. Got James with me here again today. Now I'm going to do another Sunday roast playlist recipe and that's my lamb. Sorry mate. <laughs> and that's my roast lamb with anchovies and garlic. Now that might sound like a really odd combination but actually it's really really delicious. Um, basically what happens is all that fishy flavour just disappears and what you end up with is nice really kind of what's like a barbecuey smoky kind of flavour. Lamb roast and garlic. As I said, it loses all that fishy flavour, it goes nice and sweet, and it just adds a nice different flavour to a normal roast leg of lamb. Um, you can do this with shoulder as well, I'm just using a half leg, you know, you can do this with a full leg, you know, just double the ingredients. Lots of robust flavours, and James is going to knock up some roast potatoes as well, my recipe of course. We're going to make a trivet of vegetables in the pan with some celery, carrot, onion, a couple of bay leaves, a splash of red wine, some chicken stock, Roast it off, and it's going to be. Oh. Ah. Wow. It's a French classic, isn't it? Yeah, it's, well, it's classically French, but. Classically French. So let's crack on. We'll stop waffling. If you look in the description below, you can get a list of the ingredients that you need. And as usual, if you press that pause button now, you can get a list of them there as well. Uh, the first job we need to do is James is going to crack on and chop the veg, and I'm going to prepare the lamb. Right, okay, so I've got my leg of lamb here, and all I'm going to do first is just season it lightly with a little bit of rapeseed oil. This is just going to help the salt stick. Just rub that over, and we're going to get this pan onto a really high heat. And then I'm just going to season the leg of lamb with some salt. Get that all over. So once you've seasoned the lamb with the salt, we need to get this in the pan, nice and hot. And what you want to do is to get some really nice colour on this lamb. Okay, because colour equals flavour, so just kind of brown it all sides, you know, just get some nice caramelisation on there. Should only take a couple of minutes, you're not looking to cook it through, uh, we just want that nice golden colour. Basically seal it off any anyway. more colour, more flavour. Yeah, more colour, more flavour. So I'm going to carry on with this for a minute or two, get it nice and brown, and then we'll go on to the next step. Right, okay, so I've browned off the lamb, you can see it's got that nice colour all the way around. Now you might want to let it cool for a bit before you do this next step, but I've got asbestos finger, so I think I'll be alright. And all you're looking to do is just poke holes deep into the flesh, all the way across the lamb. Okay, just give it a little bit of a twist just to open up those pockets. Now a sort of leg this size, I don't know, probably about half a dozen holes I would have thought. Now once you've done the holes, we're going to chop up some garlic. I'm going to use about three cloves. Just crack them with the back of the knife to take those skins off. Okay, so once you've peeled the garlic, what we're going to do is just cut them into slithers. This is very much a case of using your eye. There's no exact real quantities really. Just use as much or as little as you like. If you really like garlic, put more in. If you don't like so much garlic, then use less. Now there's the anchovy fillets. Just normal store-bought ones, you know, nothing special. Just gonna open the can. You can get them in jars as well. And I've also got my rosemary here as well. And what you need to do is just take a sprig of rosemary, just nip it off at the top, take a piece of garlic, and then take one of your anchovy fillets, just gonna cut that in half, and then just wrap it kind of round together. So you've kind of got like a little parcel, you know, and then just stuff it in the hole. And you might need a spoon, you can use that to just kind of jam it in. Simple as that, you can see it's in there, nice and tucked in. What's your problem? <laughs> Chill, breathe. And then all you need to do is just do the same with the rest of the garlic and the anchovies and the rosemary all the way across the lamb and then we're ready to put it in a tray, bit of stock, bit of red wine and bang it in the oven. Right, so as you can see I've put all the rosemary, garlic and anchovy in all those little holes. Now I'm just going to season it up with some pepper and then I'm going to get that onto our roasting tray with all our veg and then I'm going to drizzle over some of that oil that the anchovies came in just a little bit for extra flavour. Right, okay, so I've got my lamb in the tray here. Now I'm going to add some red wine. Just slosh it in. I guess the juice is from all the meats, yeah. the veg, everything cooked off in the pan and the wine. That makes a great gravy with some cornflour thickened up on them. Yeah, definitely. And then I'm just going to top it off with a little bit of chicken stock. You want it to come just under the veg. You don't want it covering the lamb. I'll probably use about 200ml there. And I'm just going to give it a little bit more salt. 
and any kind of trimmings, any leftover bits of garlic, any leftover bits of rosemary, just stick them in the pan as well. It's all gonna cook together and it's gonna be really, really good. So now that we've done that, we can get it in the oven. Right, okay, so that's now in the oven. Now, you can cook this two ways. You can either slow cook it till that lamb is nice and soft and tender, or you can do it medium rare. It's entirely up to you how you like your lamb. I'm gonna do this one medium rare, so that's gonna be about 25 minutes per pound, plus an extra 25 minutes. So this is gonna take about an hour and 15 minutes. Is that right? 25 plus 25 plus 25. Yeah. Now, if you're slow cooking it, you probably want to take the temperature down to about gas mark three or four, cook it nice and slow for a few hours, but it's entirely up to you how you like your lamb. And also the beauty of this recipe is you can just leave it alone, you know, it's self-basting, you don't need to do anything else with it. You just need to prep your veg, your potatoes and anything else you're having with it. James is cracking on with roast spuds, I'm going to have a sit down and I'll see you folks in a bit. Right, so that's been cooking in the oven now for about an hour and 15 minutes. So now we need to get it out of the oven and let it rest. Right, here we are then. We've got the lamb out of the oven. You can see it's lovely and golden brown on the top. Those veggies are nice and soft as well. Okay, so now what I need to do is to get the lamb out of the uh, roasting tray and then just get it onto a chopping board. And that needs to rest, all right? Don't even think about carving into it, don't slice anything off it, because you need to allow those juices to reabsorb back into the meat so it stays nice and juicy. So I'm gonna leave this for about 20 minutes, then we'll carve into it and we'll give it a try. Right, so our lamb has been resting now for about half an hour. So we're going to slice into it so you can have a look inside. I'm hoping it should be a nice medium rare. But I've got a hunch I've kind of taken it a bit too far. I left it a bit longer, so let's have a look. Fingers crossed, eh? Just get some nice slices. Oh, actually, it's nice oh, and pink. Look at that. It's actually nice and pink. It's only ever so slightly overdone, so it's not quite medium rare, but delicious all the same. And because it's been rested as well, you can see how lovely and juicy that is. I'm just going to show you a bit of a close-up. Look how juicy that meat is. You can see it glistening and it should be nice and tender as well. So what I'm going to do now is serve this up on a plate. We're going to add our roast potatoes and some of that veg that we roasted with the lamb. Right, so I'm just going to get some of our lamb on the plate. Could get some of your roast spuds on, James. Right, this is got James's roast potatoes here. I've got my roast teas, basically I peeled them, I boiled them in salted water, parboiled them, and um, I roast them basically in rapeseed oil, butter. I think that's enough, <laughs> just for the one plate. Okay. I don't think we need any more. Some butter, some garlic, some rosemary. And a bit of rapeseed oil on it. A bit of rapeseed yeah. oil, salt and pepper. Pass me that pan. And a bit of veg there. Yeah. And then we've got some of the veg that we roasted with the lamb. And you can serve alongside that some fresh peas, maybe some broccoli, some cabbage. I'll let you pour over the gravy. Right, this sounds gravy. It's all the juices from the lamb, the vegetables, red wine, chicken stock. It's a natural gravy. Right, so we get ourselves some knives and forks so we can tuck in. Right then, mate. Tuck in. Mm. Right, what have we got here? Well, I'm going to go for a bit of that lamb. Cool. Let's go in, right. bottoms up. Dig in. Really nice. The most prominent flavour is that garlic. What do you think? Yeah. I can taste the garlic. Oh yeah. I mean, you've got the garlic in the lamb. Obviously you added garlic, rosemary, anchovies to the lamb. I put garlic in my roast potatoes along with everything else. So, if you like garlic, this dish you can't go wrong. Oh, this is like I said before as well, the anchovy just, you know, it just dissipates through the meat. You know, it doesn't leave a really fishy aftertaste. I mean, you know it's anchovy that you're eating, but it goes much more mild and sweet. Yeah. And it gives it a slight barbecue flavour. Lots of robust flavours. Oh, carrots are nice. Mm. Oh, well, no. Yeah, let's have try them. Basically, the carrots, onions, celery, rapeseed oil, garlic, seasoning. That's basically just a bed I made for the lamb that Adam did. That's basically been roasting with the chicken stock, the lamb, the red wine. We've made a gravy out of that well. And as always on this channel, folks, 
And you've heard it said a million times before, but that was wizard. Well, there we are folks. That is my roast lamb with anchovies, garlic and rosemary. A really simple thing to make. And that combination of the anchovy with that lamb, it really does change the flavor, but it's so good. Honestly, you've got to give it a go. James is up here. He's finishing off the rest of it. Oh, right. okay. I, can Save. I can be left in peace, sorry. Save a bit for me. Oh well, I'm just, you know, I'm in my element here, sorry. So he's happy. Now, if you like the recipe, then stick a like down below. Let me know in the comments what you think. And that about wraps up today's video, guys. So thanks again for watching. I will put this in the Sunday Roast playlist as well. Now, if you'd like to show me some love and support, then please click that subscribe. See, I can't say it. I just don't what that bit, that bit. It's got a little word flow. Just, 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 yeah, it's just a little word. Fall out of my mouth, like butter. Just, yeah. You just need, flow. We've even those out now. like yoga. Yeah. So if you'd like to show me some love and support, then please click that subscribe button. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Subscribe. Subscribe. Just subscribe. I'm going to leave it at that. I think I've had, right, we've had a few beers, all right? I'm not going to lie. We apologize. So, well, that's Actually, probably that's probably not helping, is it? That's, no, I'm not going to apologise. I don't need to. No, I don't need no, to. No, chefs no, no one. No chefs don't apologise. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you for watching. Thanks again to James. You'll probably see him again in another video because he's here for probably another week or so. So you know he's going to help me out around the kitchen, help me with the videos. Now, as always, stick around at the end because there'll be some links to some other videos. And if you're not a subscriber, there'll be a button for that as well. And me and James will see you next time for more tasty fun and frolics. And bye for now. See you next time. See you next time. Mm.